Yeah, it feels great. I mean, when I came down in 2000, I mean, the team was significantly smaller, and I've seen all the sports improve a lot over the years, and I like to think that I was a part of that, and I like when other athletes in Australia come up and say, you know, thanks for coming down and helping us out, and, um, and I think this will be the strongest Olympics that Australia has had, and it's kind of incredible to see over only, you know, 13, 14 years how large the team is now and how many different sports there's a very high quality athlete. Um, I, I think I always had it in the back of my mind that I would at some point want to return. I just didn't have, uh, you know, my body was kind of breaking down at that point. I hadn't let my knee fully recover by Vancouver for the Olympics. I mean, I started competing on a full blown knee in six months when I was supposed to wait 18 months. Um, and by doing so, I kind of threw my back out, threw out my hip. So I was pretty kind of wrecked at that point. Um, so when I came back the next season and went on snow, my body just hadn't recovered yet. So I kind of figured, you know, take time off, take some time away and really work on uh, some physical things at the gym to see if I could kind of get the body back in shape. And if I did, I always kind of thought I might come back, but you just don't know at that point. Um, you know, if they, uh, you have to wait for an athlete to want advice, obviously. So, you know, in a lot of cases, they have certain questions about competing and about Olympics or um, certain technical things that maybe can be explained a different way than a coach explaining it, more of kind of the feel of how things work. So, you know, I try to work with them, but also, you know, they help me. There's a lot of things when I came back that, you know, you kind of forget the feeling of and they, they can help. So we kind of work well as a team together. Matt's improved significantly, I think partly because he became a larger guy and um, he can handle a lot more uh, stress on the body. Um, the other one that's made a big improvement is Brody. I mean, he came from basically nowhere and now he's one of the top guys. Um, that was pretty incredible. And then obviously Britt, you know, she's was the youngest, I think, that Australia had before and now she's kind of really showing that she's a metal potential. So I've seen a lot of the guys improve pretty quickly. Well, I, mean, I think there was quite a bit of confusion. I showed up at kind of some tent um, arrival terminal. Uh, my bags had got lost in Frankfurt, so I was the first guy out. Um, came outside, nobody was there waiting for me. I was supposed to have a ride waiting or whatever it may be. Um, after about 15, 20 minutes of walking around looking for people, my phone's not really working. I finally got uh, one of the Russian ladies to walk me over to the other terminal, which we walked around for a while. I actually saw some green heading towards the other terminal. I wasn't sure who it was. Um, we stood there for quite some time trying to get a hold of uh, our ride. And then by the time we got in the car, then I guess everybody had showed up. And I, was, I didn't really understand what was going on. So it was just a bit of, uh, I guess, confusion. Dale, will this be your last games? I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Getting too old. I'm like the old guy out there. I remember being the young guy always with all the other older guys around, but now I'm the, one of the oldest, I think. <laughs>